Just talk to each other and make some yeah. movements. What is up, y'all? I'm Scott. This is Ryan. We are the Electric Pills Nerds. What does that mean? You tell us. I have no idea. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so what we do, we pair boutique slash just regular guitar pedals and craft beers. Yeah, this was not my idea at all. It was totally his. Do we need to do this? Absolutely not. This is pretty niche, but uh, we're just going for it. So yeah, Let's see what happens. We're here to try beer, try pedals, educate you, and have a few laughs along the way. Uh, this is a show about guitar pedals and beer. Both things you thought could not get any more pretentious. So, I work at a guitar shop here in Austin, Texas called South Austin Music, and I have the wonderful privilege of being able to try out and educate myself on the newest pedals on the market. Whether if I'm a dealer or not, I can hear about them, and I just get first word of most things, and I get to nerd out with pedals all day, every day. It's amazing. That's my background. He's the pedal nerd. I'm the beer nerd, I guess. Why am I qualified to talk about beer and have opinions about it. Um, uh, my job is that I make beer for a living. That should help, I think. As we call them at work, we, we're, I'm a beer cooker. <laughs> I'm just a cook. Yeah, a little story about us. We met in college, in yep. UT, uh, in the School of Music, and that was that was way back, uh, 2010. 2010, yeah. Um, I've been friends. 10 that's years, nice damn. 10 so, years. That's really where we, we started this idea of beer and pedals. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. Just <laughs> no, we were in college thinking about, oh God, what tests do I have next week and how drunk can I get before then? Yeah. Yeah, I was late to a few tests. I didn't show up to most of them. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this. But and we graduated. We did, surprisingly enough. Yeah, I work at a local brewery in town, uh, Live Oak Brewing Company. Uh, we make a lot of crispy things. A lot of great beer. Go there. Yes. We'll be reviewing a good amount of those beers to pair with some pedals as well. So we'll be doing a lot of local stuff here in Austin, but we don't want to leave you guys out of the loop for wherever you are. So we're going to do our best to find beers that aren't Texas native. Uh, yeah, more nationwide distribution. Exactly. So that, that way, this is something maybe you can find. New England, California, Botswana, China, I don't know, wherever. The Andes. The, yeah, the Andes. Well, actually, they live next door. It's... Andy yeah, and Andy. Andy's, yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so dumb. Let's dive into it. So our first pedal that we're trying out on episode one is the Earthquaker Devices Sun Pedal. Sun Life Pedal. Fine. First pedal that we're trying on episode one is the Earthquaker Devices Sun Life Pedal. It is a monster of a pedal. It's got so much to it for being distortion, and it's a great collaboration with Earthquaker and the band Sun, or how, how do you say it? Sun, oh, parenthesis, 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 times 27. It's a cool collaboration between Earthquaker and Sun. It's got a lot of different features, a lot of different knobs. As you can see, it's got 6,000 knobs. Got, we're gonna go through all of them. It's got knobs. It's got knobs, it's got things to touch, things to switch. Uh, and you're probably also wondering about this background, why there's random words popping up every now and then. This, we're eventually going to have a logo, but right now, this is the closest thing I could find that was relevant, but apparently it's Beer Jazz on YouTube. Check it out. It's actually beer sounds, Jazz. It actually sounds pretty cool, but we're using this for now. It's bubbly sounding. It is. So yeah, this is the Sun Life pedal. I don't know anything about pedals. He just dragged me here to talk about the beer side of things. I play drums. We're in a band. And yeah, I'm just learning as I go along, I guess, so... So this is educational for yeah. me and him. Yeah, you'll see me maybe gain knowledge about pedals. He even said a word called gain. Gain, yeah. That's there a thing, go. right? Yes. Does this have a wet setting? No. I'm <laughs> it's all wet. Good. So on this pedal, there's a lot of different features. Mainly the one you have to check out is this middle knob here, middle lower knob. It's three different settings. You have op amp, asymmetrical, and symmetrical. So the op amp is no diodes, it's full tilt, maximum volume going through the op amp. Asymmetrical is utilizing two silicone diodes and LED diode. And so you get a little bit more volume, there is a slight decrease, but with that clipping it gives you the volume with, with a classic tone. And then 
when you go to uh, symmetrical, it's just two silicone diodes, so lower volume. So we're gonna hear that right now. Whoa, where'd that come from? <laughs> So we're gonna switch it to asymmetrical and you're gonna notice a little bit of a volume decrease. And now the symmetrical is going to be the two silicone diodes just by themselves and so there's a lot of volume loss but it is a very classic tone. I'm gonna flip it back to op amp because there's a really cool feature here that says octave. I've never seen a pedal do this, but it blends an analog octave. So I'm gonna play a little bit here, doing some rhythm, doing some lead. I'm not gonna get too long-winded about this. Now when you blend the octave, I'm gonna do about what I call midnight, which is right in the center. Hear a little bit of that analog octave coming in. Do you do you hear that a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it comes in a little bit. This is where the freaky part. You can blend it and have it all the way wet. Yes. Yes. Jimi hendrix -y kind of octave. So Ryan, what would you say are like the notes of this pedal? Like the like the aural notes? It's big, obviously. It's a big sound bitch. <laughs> um, okay. the that's a technical music term. Um, it's definitely got a dark, uh, sludgy kind of tone to it. I think you're not you're not far off. It's it's dark, sludgy. It's got a bit of grit to it. It's got a little bit of sharpness, is what I kind of hear. It's just got this saw wave. Very, um, it's just got this grinding nature to it. You can't escape that. It's just very. Did we mention Sun O is like a, like a doom metal band? So That's true. Like atmospheric doom. Basically they're, they're just some dudes that have fat stacks and Big guitars and get high, just play some dark ass chords. Yep, that's pretty much it. It's pretty atmospheric. So with all those notes, oh I forgot to mention, oh my gosh, there is so many fucking pedals. I wanna fucking do Okay, I'm good. Mm. I'm good. So what I forgot is that there is an expression input on here. And what that does is it controls the octave blend. Uh, I don't have an expression pedal here right now, and that Ed. So, but that uh, essentially, yeah, you just hook, hook up any expression pedal you want on there, and and it'll be able to blend your analog octave. And the main thing as well, we have on this pedal that I also missed, we have the amplitude, which amplitude we have magnitude and amplitude. Magnitude, pop, pop is the fuzz. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Amplitude is the boost you get on this, so this is essentially just a clean boost, and you can use it without the fuzz, so here's my clean. Which, by the way, I'm going through a Quilter Mini 101, no reverb, and a 1x12 cap, closed back cabinet. This is just clean. So the amplitude is the boost. It's already driving my amplifier, and now when we put this, now I put the magnitude on. Here's with the amplitude. Yeah. So that's the full scape of the pedal, and the filter works a lot like a Proco Rat. So. The more you dial it counterclockwise, the more trebly it gets, the more clockwise, the more bass it gets. Well, okay, well, you seriously have your phone on. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely not the pedal for uh, Justin Bieber's backing band, uh, that's for sure. Or is it? 
Or is it? I don't know. Justin Bieber kind of looks like a crazy person. Now. <laughs> so he may want he may do a collab with Sunno. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> all right. So Ryan, knowing all with the pedal that we know, what beer do you uh, pick out to pair with this thing? Well, today I brought this. Cool. Uh, the Wild Acre Thunder Hug, and not just because. It kind of looks like the pedal. I mean, that was kind of part of it, but mostly big, dark sounding, sludgy pedal. Needs a, a big, massive, voluminous, sludgy beer. So my, my, my mind immediately went to uh, Imperial Stout, uh, aged in some sort of booze barrel. And how That's this is kind of like, you know, I was going for this pedal is a kind of a, their, their style of music is a wall of sound of just like really hard, hard, heavy tones well this should be a wall of flavor a wall of beer a wall of flavor beer flavor in a beer i mean 13.7 percent unforgiving just like this pedal is kind of unforgiving sounding uh so we'll see if it's actually taste the way that this pedal sounds well, all right let's give it a pour all right cool. hardcore pour ah big and beefy just like that pedal that is uh, yeah a lot of beef <laughs> there's there's did they, they brew this with beef is that is that what's um, no but uh, i should have mentioned they are from fort worth uh Cowtown, so it just must be beef in the water uh, <laughs> um, it's like stuck in my mustache it's like molasses in my mustache it's like permanent yeah it's permanent beer beard wax beard wax yeah. It just keeps on hitting you with layers of uh, dark malt uh, flavor, heavy roast. Oh, God, um, that's there's good. a little bit of that bourbon. It's it was sweet. aged in a Texas whiskey uh, bourbon esque barrel. So you get a little bit of that, definitely some of the, the oak. So there's just a lot of different things um, coming at you. There's a lot of depth, and it does, I think, accomplish this kind of the wall of sound, the wall of flavor. Yeah, dude, this thing packs a punch. It. Yeah, it's yeah, it, but it's like it's 13.7 percent. Yeah, so that's part of it. Wow, we were gonna be drunk by the end of this, this beer. beer uh, <laughs> we might be pretty hammered for the yeah. next uh, for the next pedal. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Yeah, <laughs> be fun. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. mean, with me, I'm not I'm not a brewer, but I'm a pedal nerd, and it does. Yeah, wall of sound, wall of flavor. It definitely matches that. And I, as I was saying before, it does. There's this little grit to the to the sound of the pedal. Mm -hmm. That has a little bit of like a bite to it as well. Yeah, it does I have think a little that, bit of grit. I think it's the 13.7 percent alcohol. I think it's the alcohol being like, hey, we're we're very much here. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not too much to where it's super off-putting. No. Um, obviously, with that that high alcohol of a beer, you're gonna have some of that alcohol warmth and bite present. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really well, also you know, masked with all the, the heavy malts and the dark roasty coffee chocolatiness of it, with the yeast in there, and with the the barrel, you got some like fruit notes coming out, like dark fruit, mm -hmm. fruit raisin, um, slightly dates. That's this is why we have him on the show, cause I I taste I I taste heavy chocolate. I taste very sweet, just super heavy. But like picking up on all those flavor notes, if you can find this beer try it watch this video really tr dig deep for those flavors because now that he's saying it i'm taking more sips and more sips and more and sips y'all will taste different stuff than i'm tasting too um, you'll taste kind of those big flavors but you'll y'all will taste different nuanced flavors in there because everyone's palate is different it's all subjective 100 yeah. percent but uh i'd say we accomplished it um go team accomplished the pairing with this one 
Yeah, I think so. I think this actually does match well, and we will we will be honest with you guys. If things, something doesn't match, it's not gonna fucking match. Like, yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll we won't we won't toot our horn every time. Mm -mm. Well, we'll hit some duds, and we're gonna be happy for you to be there for it. And also, feel free to leave suggestions. You know, just straight up be like, you guys are dumb. Yeah, you should have, you should have picked this beer. You dumb not, fucks. Not this beer. You should have picked this other beer. But really, I mean. You could go with any big kind of boozy imperial stout, barrel aged, ideally, mm -hmm. even with even more adjuncts uh, to put up this more of these this wall of flavor. You know what? Just real quick before we end, for those of them at oh, home, yeah, yeah, right, can yeah. you can you explain adjuncts real Ad, quick? Adjuncts are just anything besides the the you know the four main ingredients of beer, which are uh, grain, water, yeast, and. Uh, LSD. Uh, L uh, it hops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything outside that. So with big imperial stouts, you'll often see they put actual cocoa nibs in there. Uh, you'll see coffee even sometimes. Um, coconut, Mars bars, uh, candy corn. I don't know. I mean, but basically, literally anything outside of the four main ingredients. Basically, crazy shit for for all intents and purposes. Our our adjuncts. Cool. That's great. That's great to know. Again, this is a beer and boutique, or craft beer boutique pedal show, so it's going to get a little pretentious. Bougie teak. Bougie teak. Yeah. Yes. So please like, subscribe, comment, tell us if we're full of shit, tell us if there's something that's just totally wrong that I haven't said or that he hasn't said, and beer's already kicking in. <laughs> We want you to educate us. So this is an open forum. We're here for entertainment. We're here to drink. So <laughs> mainly, mainly, <laughs> and play some cool shit. So like, subscribe, guys. Knocked out of the park, buddy. Cheers. Hell yeah.